Hello guys, I am Pixel and in this episode of Dirty Talk I want to throw Instagibs onto the topic table since it's a fairly popular subject in the community at this moment in time and I for one have got a fair amount to say on the matter. Now before jumping right into things, I do want to quickly bring up the jib versus gib debate. I get it, technically it's jib but some people call it gib and there's a good chance that in this video I will go back and forth between both pronunciations so I'm sorry. I can't make everybody happy, it's just, it is what it is. Anyway, the talk around town is that Splash Damage have recently started testing the removal of Instajib for sniper rifles and grenades on the internal builds of Dirty Bomb. The general consensus in the community does seem to be fairly positive, however I am personally more than a little bit concerned that both SD and the guys supporting these changes may be doing so as a snap judgement rather than taking all the potential consequences into consideration. When making this kind of change, you need to be aware that how it affects not only public and competitive will vary massively, but also how it affects each individual game mode, and by extension how it's going to affect each of the different merc roles and playstyles that users choose to adopt. We also need to make sure that we are making changes for the right reasons, and that we don't just end up applying a band-aid fix to a much deeper seeded problem, or even missing the mark altogether. For example, how often do you guys get revived in a public match? If you're anything like me, your answer will be not very often and then I need to ask the question, so what is the removal of Instagibs really going to change? One of the things that we need to bear in mind is that there is a huge crossover between Instagibs and Instadowns and if you've got no medics in the immediate vicinity or maybe it was your medics that were instantly downed, then for all intents and purposes, instant gibs and instant downs in that situation are effectively the exact same thing, with the obvious exception of Phoenix with his self revivability and the non medic really slow help up mechanic. Sure, the removal of Instagibs would have some effect and it would certainly remove some of that sting, but are we sure it's going to do enough to stop people from complaining in the long run? And also, are we sure that still having Instagibs on mercs that have already taken damage will not feel really random and inconsistent? In public play especially, I really do consider Instagibs to be more the icing on the cake rather than the cake itself, and it won't be long in my mind until people start complaining about the instant downs in the exact same way that they've been complaining about the instant gibs up until now. Please understand that I'm not saying that removing the instagibs will be a bad thing, I'm just really wondering is it ever going to be enough? When it comes to competitive play on the other hand, the shoe is firmly on the other foot, mainly because the medics are such an integral part of any team's lineup. But that fact alone is one of the reasons why I feel that simply removing the instagibs without adjusting other mechanics would likely cause some rather major problems going forward. For starters, let's have a quick look at that frag grenade. Personally, I have always hated that it had the ability to instigate players and I've been calling for the removal of that ability for a very long time. However, if you were to increase its damage and basically its downing potential to compensate for the lack of instigib, then you are arguably creating a grenade which is even more powerful than the one that we already have in certain circumstances, at the same time as making it weaker in certain circumstances because of a medic's ability to mass revive down players and bring them up with a substantial amount of HP. What I would have liked to have seen is the instigate potential actually decreased by increasing the radius and lowering the damage, basically turning it into that kind of nade that we see in games like Counter Strike Global Offensive where the ability would enable a play rather than being the play itself. I would also be open to ideas such as having the nade maybe only do 100 health damage in the inner radius but instigibbing anyone that it does kill. I think that the major concern with just removing the gib but keeping the down will be that it really entices the other team, the enemy team, to go back to that 5 man all bunched up attack where spamming revives was really the name of the game. Fear is a very important tool and removing it can result in all sorts of craziness, so I urge the supporters and splash damage to really come up with something more than just removing the insta gib. So moving on to the bolt action sniper rifles, we have even more issues to contend with. First of all, the fear components of a sniper in competitive is one of its greatest strengths. So when you remove that gib potential, you also mute the fear and you reduce his power. And while the one shot gib on down players may seem like a fair compromise on paper, it's not until you start looking at all the maps and the potential situations that could arise that you start to notice all the flaws in the theory. 
For instance, it becomes nearly impossible to give players with a height advantage, which until now has really been the sniper's territory. And getting long distance picks on travelling mercs is also going to be much harder because we're going to see medics start charging up their defibs when crossing lines of sight. And we also need to accept that this change would mean that um, basically any of the enemy players with a medic can stand in a corner and spam down the sniper because of a pre-charged defib or a revive gun. And there is basically nothing that that sniper can do about it. Basically, removing the gib on the sniper in competitive would make that sniper almost completely useless and also, just like with the frag grenade, it also rewards the enemy team for sticking together and spamming revives. Not to mention, but we would actually also be promoting the medic sparks to the best sniper in the game and for some reason that kind of just boggles my mind a little bit. Please don't get me wrong, I am not saying that we do need a place for a sniper in competitive for competitive to work, I'm just saying that I think it would be sad to lose the sniper gameplay when I honestly believe that there are other solutions still available here. In my opinion, it's not actually the instigate potential that makes the sniper rifle so strong right now, it's more about the number of instigibs you can get out in a very short period of time and just how forgiving that makes missing each one of your shots. Personally, I would like to see the time between shots increased and maybe even slowing down the scoping speed slightly to nerf the ability to effectively quick scope your enemies. And by doing this, you will actually punish your player for missing their shots, as well as leaving them open after a missed or even a hit shot for the enemy to fight back. And at the same time, this would still keep the sniper being somewhat viable for competitive. This kind of change would also have a much greater effect in public play in my opinion because, like I said earlier, in public play the difference between an instant gib and an instant down is much much smaller due to the unreliability of medics, so I'm not really convinced that people are going to stop complaining about the snipers once the instant gib is removed. So with all that said, I am neither for nor against the removal of instagibs. I just want to make sure that all the consequences have been properly assessed by both Splash Damage and the community before making any rash decisions. Personally, I do feel that there are better solutions than just simply removing the instagib potential, but I also understand that I am just one voice of many. Just please remember that by removing the instagibs and not changing much else, we are likely going to be promoting that uh, revive chaining playstyle in competitive once again. Anyway, these are my thoughts on the whole Instagib topic, but I would love to hear yours, so please do leave me a comment in the comment section below this video, guys. I want to quickly thank everybody that's taken the time to watch the video up until now, and if you have enjoyed it, please do leave me a like rating to show your support. And finally, if you've not done already and you don't want to kill me after hearing what I've got to say, then please do slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. I am Pixel. And until next time, bye-bye.